If you're anything like me, you love to have a nice roadmap paved out for you to learn how to do something new. Or not even learning how to do something, just learning anything in general. Especially if it's a more complex task where there's a lot that goes into learning this one thing and you're just sort of like, I don't know where to go. And that's why I'm gonna be showing you a new AI website called Courseable that'll take any prompt that you give it and turn it into a course that tells you exactly what step to go on to learn whatever you're trying to learn. Now, when you first log onto the website, this is the screen that you'll be presented with. It's sort of like their homepage that explains, you know, what it is and how it works. And you can see here, it starts with this prompt here and it says, teach me blank. Now, this is where we input whatever we want it to generate as far as a course goes, and then we'll just start learning. Now, you do have to create an account, but an account is free and you get two free courses. So for this, we'll need to think of just an example prompt. Now, let's say we know nothing about how to code a website and it sounds so complex and we have no idea like where to even start. Well, we could just ask this. So if we put in teach me how to code a website, we can hit let's go and then it'll work on generating. And this is actually really quick. And there it took like 20 seconds and then we're presented with this screen. Now you can see that my account here just has the free plan and we get five personalizations for this course. Now personalizations are these selectors right here. So we can just type out like a change or we can change the complexity. Like if we already know a little bit about how to make a website, we can go more basic or if we know nothing, we can go more detailed. But before we mess around with this, we should probably see what it generated. So we'll see it generated nine different modules and each module will have a list of materials that'll help us learn this specific concept. But since we're still customizing it, it hasn't gotten those materials yet. So module one, we have introduction to HTML, and then we have tags and elements. Then we have CSS basics, CSS selectors and properties, responsive design and media queries, layout and positioning, introduction to JavaScript, DOM manipulation, and form validation. Now, since we're pretending to be a complete beginner, I didn't see anything on like what programs or what software do I need to install in order to make this happen. Now, it might explain this into the introduction of, to HTML, but I'm thinking I want a separate module for that. So I'm just gonna say, hey, I would like a module for picking a specific coding software. And then since I'm a complete beginner, I'm gonna go to more detailed. So that way it hopefully gives us a little bit more detail and a little bit more materials. Now, once I'm done adding my modifications, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit personalize. Now we can see it doesn't look like much changed, but down here at the bottom, we have number 10, picking a coding software. Now, personally, I would probably rather have this up at the top. So I'm just gonna ask it to see if it can do that. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work, but we're just gonna go ahead and try it out and see what happens. And look at that, it actually was able to do it. So now that I'm happy with this picking a coding software being at the top, let's go ahead and confirm the course. Now it's gonna be working for a minute here to build the actual course, but it's not gonna take that long and it should be done fairly soon. And here we go. We are now on our Courseable dashboard where we can see all our courses. Now, like I said, with the free plan, you only get access to create two courses, but then you can upgrade to a paid plan. So let's just go ahead and select our building a website with HTML and CSS course, and then we can see all of this information. So we can see when we created it and about the duration that it'll take to learn everything in this course. So in module one, we can see picking a coding software, and then it'll give us a brief explanation of like why this is important. And then down here, it'll give us a few materials on how to learn how to do this. Now, personally, I don't really like the options it gave us for this um, because it wasn't like a coding software, which should you select? It was more of just coding basics. But I mean, maybe these videos have sections on how to do that or something, I don't know. But we can see it gave us two videos and a web article, and it also gives us how long each of these things are. So we can click on any of these and it'll take us to the YouTube site. And then just like the video, we can hit the website one and it'll take us straight to this document. Now this one is a little bit better. Like if it determined that Visual Studio Code is a really good one to use, then this one would be a good final one because it's like, now that you've chosen Studio Visual Code, go ahead and you know go through this website to learn how to use it. Like that would be a good web article, but these other two videos aren't necessarily super relevant to this specific one. 
But either way, let's just say we watched everything or read the article, then we could just check off as we go. And then once you've checked everything off, you just hit complete topic and then you move on to the next one. So now in this next one, we can see it'll take about an hour and 10 minutes. And then it gives us quite a lot of materials here. Now these look like they're just gonna be the same, but they're actually different. Now this one's a W3 Schools article, and this is actually a really good website to recommend. But this other one's a Tutorials Point website, and this one also just has a very similar tutorial. Now for a lot of these, you probably don't need to do every single one because a lot of them are gonna be very similar. So in this case, it's probably just better to watch the video and then pick the best one. And this probably got thrown off a little bit because I asked it to do this and then it, it put in a bunch of like beginner videos here. So it probably messed up a little bit because I added a bad module because a lot of these are probably going to recommend different software as you go through it anyway. Um, and plus, when you start coding, you don't really start in a software. You really start in the individual like code.org, for example, and then it'll have its own environment and then you move on. So maybe that wasn't the best call there. But anyway, let's just go ahead and say we completed all these mark as complete. And then boom, we got another one checked off the list. And we can see over here, our completion is 20%. So moving on to the third section, we can see it explains it a little bit more. It also gives us some information about how tags are uh, made. And then these materials are actually pretty good. It has a video on all of the tags that are available, which is a fantastic resource. And then it explains why to use HTML elements over divs, which I'm sure is also a great resource. And then it also gives us a few articles that we can read uh, just to reference and have extra resources here. And you can see as we go down, it'll curate a few different videos and it'll just ultimately be a really good guide to show you where to go in learning how to build a website in this case. So it's really nice for just creating a roadmap, even if you don't like, you know, the materials like, and eh, that one wasn't a good one because it is an AI, it's learning and it's improving. So it might not always give good resources like here, it gave us like three of the same kind of thing. But either way, the topics and what it's suggesting you learn can help act as a stepping stone to say, okay, well, maybe I didn't like these resources, but what are some similar resources that fit my needs a little bit better? So ultimately, it'll just supplement your own learning and just make it a whole lot easier. Now, this was just one example. So let's just go ahead and do another one, use up our second free course on this account. Now I'm thinking I'm going to have it teach me about superconductors because I don't really fully understand them. I know a little bit about them, but I do want to learn more. And there was that talk, you know, earlier this month about, oh, you know, a room temperature superconductor, which I'm pretty sure turned out to be false. But I do want to learn more about it because it sounds like these are going to be very important in the future. So let's hit let's go and then just see what it generates. Now, with the previous example, I actually knew stuff about HTML and CSS and all that. Like I used that as a test to see how good it would do this. I have no idea what you know, really how they work or like anything about them. So I'm really going in blind, but I mean, this looks good. I mean, it looks like it's teaching me a lot, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit more detailed. I don't know if that's going to change anything or if you have to put a change in there. Um, but if it makes it a little bit more detailed, that'd be great because I want all the detail. Now it did look like that changed it quite a lot actually, but you know what? I actually, I think I liked the more standard overview because this is giving me like, if I wanted to learn how to make my own superconductor, which I don't want to do, I want a standard overview of what it was. So that'd be a good example of why you would might want a standard or more basic over a more detailed. So yes, this is much more my style and what I want to learn about. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit confirm. And you see, once it's done, we get taken back to the homepage here, and then we can go ahead and click our new course. Now, since this is a much more basic course and we're not actually like learning how to do something, it's just teaching us about superconductors. It's a much shorter course. So I am curious uh, like what this is about. So it explains what a superconductor is, which is very cool. And then additional um, materials here. So it looks like it gives us a video on how superconductors work, which it looks like the description here gives us a lot of information, which is maybe why it recommended this video in particular. And then it gives us a site on superconductivity, which I guess it just gave us Wikipedia, but this is a pretty good article. It has a lot of different stuff on here. So this was also a great option for giving us here. And then we could see we got another video on different types, type one and type two. What is the superconductor? Uh, types, materials, and properties, and then type one and two superconductors, another web article. Superconducting transition temperature, 
interesting okay okay so then it gives us more details and then it explains the messinger effect and then applications like impact and application that's pretty cool so this is a really good tool for sort of just giving us a basic overview of everything you would ever need to know about superconductors so you can walk away from this and sort of say yeah i essentially took a course on basic level superconductors and i can explain it in decent detail to anyone i'm having a conversation with sure it's not the most detail like i couldn't make my own but i understand the concept and how it works so this is really cool like i would have no idea where to go in when learning about superconductors and you can see it customizes and makes this specifically for you so you can input anything and essentially have a college course on whatever you input so yeah, I hope that this helps you because I know for me, I found it really difficult to learn things just on my own because I don't have direction. Like sure, I can like look into it, but I don't really know where the next step is. Like I could do like the basic initial thing, but then I'm like, okay, I don't know where to go from here. But this just sort of condenses it all down and makes it super easy for you to learn new things. And to find more cool AI tools like this one, check out our website at ai-search.io.